The Mi Band 7 could, and perhaps should, be the most popular wearable device in the world. It's just a very well-priced, feature-rich, easy-to-use smart band for the masses. Now on its seventh version, the Mi Band 7 this year sees significant upgrades from the previous Band 6. Released in China, where I currently live, hello, this week I've been wearing it around the city and have found it to be reliable, easy to use, as well as packed with a lot of new features at a really inviting price point. Xiaomi say the international version will be released within one month at a price of 60 euros, and for that comes with a larger battery, a bigger display, over 100 workout modes, as well as new health monitoring features. Now, although the visual design has hasn't changed that much over the past few years, the display on the Mi Band 7 has been enlarged, going from 1.56 inches to 1.62, and that might not seem a lot, but on a band of this size, it does make a big difference. Xiaomi have overhauled the UI to match the new screen size, with improved visuals, new icons, fresh animations, and new graphics. And matched with the larger screen makes using the Band 7 far more convenient than its predecessors. Although remember, this is still just a smart band, so don't expect to be able to read Harry Potter on this thing. Someone in the comments actually asked if they could read ebooks in my review of the Mi Band 7 Pro, do people actually want to do that? So there are occasions when you'll have to wait for text to scroll across the screen. This is of course a small device, but the bigger screen does make things a lot more convenient, but not to the point where you can read a novel. There are also lots of color options this year, and they all look really cool. I actually regret getting this black version, it kind of looks a bit dull and boring compared to the other colors, especially when you match some of the new watch faces with the color of the band, it really does look fresh. Luckily for me, the bands are removable, you kind of just pop it out of the silicon holder and you can put on another. So the other big upgrade is continuous 24-7 health monitoring, which also came to the larger, more expensive Mi Band 7 Pro. So before, if you wanted to measure your heart rate or blood oxygen level, you would have to manually go into the menu, click the feature and wait for it to take a reading. <sighs> How tiresome. But now you have the option, if you so wish, to set this to continuous automatic monitoring throughout the day while you're typing a script for a YouTube video or working out on FIFA. In terms of performance, I did find the heart monitoring a little slow to get actual real-time results from the Apple Watch Series 7, but the Band 7 was within three heartbeats either side, so I think it just took a while to present the results. In terms of blood oxygen level, this was spot on compared to the Apple Watch, and just like the heartbeat monitor, can also be set to continuous monitoring throughout the day. However, all of this will have an effect on your battery life, which will get you 12 days with light usage, but that will probably be cut in half to 6 days if you're going heavy on the features. Naturally, you get a ton of workout modes on the Band 7, from the classics to the more specified activities, but you are going to get much better tracking and measurement information from the more popular workout modes like running, where it will tell you things like your average pace, your stride length, as well as recognize your swim stroke if you go for a little splash around. But for the more specific and rarefied workout types, it will just record your basic heart rate info, calories and the intensity of your workout. But on top of that, another new feature this year is the VO2 max analysis, which will basically assess how fit you are and shame you if you're not fit enough. It will also recommend how much rest you should take in between your workouts, as well as if you should be working out more. Another thing you should know before buying the Band 7 is that it does not have built-in GPS. So if you want to see a map of your workout, then you'll have to bring your phone with you. If you want inbuilt GPS, GPS, then you can take a look at the Mi Band 7 Pro, I'll put a link for the review at the end of this video. Now the Band 7 does support NFC for contactless payments, but there is an NFC version and a non-NFC version sold here in China, but I'm not sure if this will be offered in the international version, so don't assume that NFC will be available in your region. So, as I said before in my Mi Band 7 Pro video, STRESS 
is something that none of us want. And to help us monitor it, the heart rate sensor on the Band 7 can give you a reading of your stress level throughout the day. And if it's all too much and you need to calm down, the breathing app will help you take some deep breaths and get you back to feeling good. One feature that I really like is Find My Phone. You can hit the button on the watch and it will make your phone play an alert tone so you can locate it from behind a pillow or something. The Band 7 is also waterproof up to 50 meters so you can take it in the shower and go for a swim. We also have local weather forecasts, notification support and music controls. There are also many watch faces to choose from. There are a handful of pre-installed faces on the watch itself and there are plenty more options on the Mi Fitness app that can be sent to the watch. From more classical faces, retro looks and modern sports looks, the list kind of goes on forever. All of the settings for the Band 7 can be adjusted within the watch itself or within the Mi Fitness app so you can customize how the watch looks and feels and naturally you get a charging cable in the box which connects to power using USB-A and takes around two hours for a full charge. Now, obviously I haven't covered everything, so if you do have any questions, pop them down in the comments and I will most likely maybe reply. And click the video here on the left to watch my Mi Band 7 Pro review, which is a little more expensive, but for a lot of people, I think will be totally worth it. And naturally, you should subscribe for a free cookie. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.